there could be a nature-based solution to Southeast Asia's plastic waste problem. Scientists at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University believe recreating the gut bacteria of plastic-eating worms could one day help degrade plastic on an industrial scale and help reduce pollution in Asia's marine ecosystems. The first step is to work out how exactly these superworms, Ozophobus atratus, digest plastic. Once the worms are done feeding with plastics, so this is what it looks like, they create holes. Uh, we take out the microorganisms from their gut and we put them in flasks with fresh plastics so that eventually they start growing on them and degrading them. The study involved hundreds of worms divided into three groups over a month two of which were fed a diet of plastic, the type commonly found in styrofoam and plastic bags. And just a petri dish away, one control group was fed oatmeal. You may ask, why not just breed these superworms to eat through plastic trash instead of cultivating their gut microbes? Truth is, it's impractical to maintain large worm populations. Plus, extracting their superpower can potentially solve a global waste problem. Our study is one of the few studies in this region to look at the microorganisms and plastic interaction in the marine environment. And with the ultimate goal to develop a novel bioprocessors for us to manage the plastic waste well. The next step for these researchers is to better understand what's left after the gut biomes degrade the plastic and if what remains can be monetized and even scaled up. Those process can be uh, a series of reactions to transform these plastic materials into either monomers or the relatively small molecules that can be converted to something that is even more valuable. And while we wait on harnessing the inner strength of this lot, the hope is people will remember the basics. Reduce, reuse and recycle plastics as much as possible. Well, for more, we're joined now in the studio by Sakshim Bairolia. He's research fellow at NTU's School of Civil and Environmental Engineering and the Singapore Centre for Environmental Life Sciences Engineering. Good to see you, Saksham. Same here. So how did the team land on the idea of actually using these superworms first off in this process? You've brought some of them with you. They're very busy, I can see, right now in those jars. Yeah, so uh, it's been known for some time that uh, superworms can eat plastic, but uh, their application, their direct application in processing plastic waste is not feasible because it's very hard for us to maintain a huge worm population. So because they digest plastic, so we came up with the idea that yes, of course, the gut microbiome, they, it plays a role, right? So what we did was we first feed them with plastics, right? So you can see- I was very busy there. Yeah. I see <laughs> so, 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 so they eat through the plastic and in a very nice manner, they create right. a lot of holes. So those tunnel-like holes yeah, are yeah, created yeah. by the worms. Yeah, so you can yeah. see it's, worm, yeah, it's actually inside. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do you want to pick them up? Uh, I'm I'm sure. Hmm? Okay. Let's have a look. Well, I don't want to disturb him. Uh, He's carry, very carry busy. Carry on your explanation. Yeah. So, uh, so we probably thought that uh, the gut microbiome yeah. can uh, help digest the plastics. Yeah. So what we did was we feed them with plastic, mm. and uh, that conditions their gut microbiome to digest a specific type of plastic. And then uh, we extract their gut, and then we create an artificial worm gut media where we incubate them with more plastics. So eventually they start consuming the plastic and growing on them. So that's right. how they break right. down the plastics. Uh, I, I'm curious now that now that you've found uh, how this, uh, now that you've explained to us how this works, what does it mean in a real life application uh, for plastic degradation? Yeah, that's, that's really interesting because, uh, so do you know that currently we recycle only about 6% mm. of our plastic? Mm. That's way too low and way too unsustainable. So uh, the current processes are very energy intensive and this is a green sustainable solution mm. uh, if we can develop it to the stage that we want to. Right, so talk to us about the 
how close you are to actually developing a product that, that might be usable. I have to say, these chaps in here are very busy. They're ignoring me completely. <laughs> and I can see them actually eating all of this plastic. I don't want to even yeah. disturb them. <laughs> so uh, we still have a long way to go. Yeah. Um, we're still just in the initial stages of research. But uh, I would say it's a step in the right direction. Um, yeah. What needs to happen in order for, this, for, for the sort of the, the stages to progress from here? So we need to make the process faster okay. and more efficient. Mm. And that would require us to have uh, to engineer them further. Mm. And for that, we need to study them more. Right. So, mm. so, so that's the goal now. A lot of work and a lot, lot, of work and a lot more superworms, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is there any... Uh, concern that uh, perhaps the consumption habits and the bacteria can actually go out of control. Maybe to, you know, uh, start to digest and eat plastic products that are on the shelves or around your home. <laughs> you know, <laughs> clearly somebody's been watching a lot of uh, movies. <laughs> uh, so no, that's, yeah. that's not going to happen because uh, they require a very specific yeah. condition mm. and uh, very specific circumstances in which they eat plastic because it's really hard for them as well. Right. Yeah. right. If, if, if it was going to happen, it would have already happened. And as you said, they have to be conditioned. Yes, yeah. yes, they have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So what's next for the team, Saksha? So right now, we have two main focus. The yeah. first one is that we are looking at the interactions uh, mm -hmm. with the microorganisms and the plastic surface. And uh, we are also trying to identify the proteins, the enzymes, and the pathways by which they break down the uh, plastics. Because once we identify that, then it's easier for us to engineer and make the process faster. Mm. Are there any other types of um, you know, plastic degrading bacterial communities that the team is also looking at apart from of these superworms? Uh, so yes, uh, we do have a project on uh, marine plastics. So mm. we tried isolating some uh, plastic degrade, potential plastic degrading organisms from the marine plastics that we collected from around Singapore. And we have a few promising candidates. Uh, so that's all I can say for now. Okay. Wow. So the, it's secret. <laughs> you heard it here first. So, uh, have you, have you um, at this point, come up with a little, some obstacles that, that perhaps you still need to overcome for, to have that jump forward? Yeah, so in any kind of uh, biological technology, yeah. we mm. do have the scale-up issues. That's so that's, right. of course, one of the major bottlenecks. Um, apart from that, just the basic uh, working with plastics is difficult because they are very difficult to work with. And you, they do not, they're hydrophobic, so they do mm. not interact well with water. So all the lab-based assays that we have to identify uh, enzymes or uh, to identify even microorganisms, they're a little difficult to do because yeah. of those interactions. So, so we are working on it. We are optimizing the methods and hopefully we have something yeah. good soon. Well, it takes a lot of research, a lot of work uh, from the team. Do you collaborate at all with teams in the region or other, other sort of um, colleges that are actually doing similar work? We do, actually. We mm. do. So, uh, so this is something that I like to say is interdisciplinary. Mm -hmm. uh, no one person can have all the expertise to figure this out. So we do have a lot of collaborators from different countries uh, that we seek uh, uh, their expertise on different matters like polymer characterization mm. or microbiome profiling, different things. So yeah, we do collaborate a lot. There's a lot yeah. to learn. From the worms. Yeah, exactly. Saksham, thank you so much for coming into the studios. And thank you, little <laughs> ones in those jars over there. Saksham, thank you. Saksham Bairolia, the thank you. research fellow at NTU's School of Civil and Environmental Engineering and the Singapore Centre of Environmental Life Sciences Engineering. Thank you very much.